Hey guys, I'm Captain Alex with Mall and Quay Marina, and I'm here going to show you some connection knots today. The first one I'm going to start with is the uh, the uni to uni knots, where you're connecting two lines together, whether it's mono to braid or fluorocarbon to mono. Um, if you're coming from a high vis line and you want to go to a clear leader, such as mono or fluoro, um, I'm going to show you how to do that here real quick. So. I've got about 80 pound test here and what I'm starting with is I'm going to take these two lines and lay them over top of each other like that and I'll take one tag end of the line and I'll make this loop right here so I've got that and then I will start making my wraps here do about three or four with thicker line if I'm using thinner line I'm going to use um, a few more wraps right here I've got about four or five wraps and then I will cinch that down pulling it like that and then I'll slide over to the other side here. Got that one nice and tight. We'll come over to this other tag end here. Make another loop just like we started with the first one. Come through, do our three or four wraps. Just because it's thicker line. Again, if we were using thinner, mon um, thinner diameter line, we'd be making more wraps. So I've got it like that. And I will cinch that down just like that. And then in order to finish this knot, we're going to wet the line. Kind of get it so that that line slides a lot better and then we'll cinch this knot down just like that and pull it nice and tight and you get a nice clean looking knot before we cut the tag ends off here and then you normally take some scissors to snip that but I don't have any with me right now all right so to do a bowline here we'll start by making a loop just like this and we're going to take this tag end here come through and then come back down out of our loop, just like that. And you'll cinch that down like that and creeps, creates a nice tight loop just like that. And that's not gonna pull out, you pull that nice and tight. Now if I was gonna connect two of these knot lines together, I could take one, let's say we had tied another bowline on that loop end, we would connect the line through like this and pull the tag in through so you're getting left with a loop like that to connect two lines together. So I'm going to show you how to snell a knot or snell a hook. I'm going to take this loop, put the line through the loop of the hook here and pull a tag end about that far uh, and then we're going to make another loop here coming back to the side of the hook here. So I've got a loop sitting alongside the hook where it kind of comes down the uh, shank of the hook and I'm going to start taking that tag end right here and wrapping around the shank of the hook and through the loop like so six to seven times now that we've got that like that We'll kind of start to cinch down this loop here while holding that tag end and pull down tight just like that and that leaves you a really nice pretty snelled hook and you would just clip off this tag end and that's not going anywhere. So those are three basic knots that you can use when you're on the boat and at the dock. Um, appreciate you guys for watching. I'm Captain Alex at Marlin Quay Marina in Garden City. Come see us sometime.